We are back in here in a week number four for the uh, Cleveland Browns franchise here on Madden 25. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Uh, let's get right into the press conference here going into week number four. As we will be taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. As we'll get our first question here, let's talk about Jameis Winston and how he's played up to this point. He hasn't been bad. In your opinion, what has he done well so far this season? That's a good question. Um, I would say really avoiding turnovers in general. Uh, last game did not turn over the ball. He did turn over the ball against Jacksonville. Uh, just the one interception. But overall... He hasn't, you know, it's not like he has, you know, three or four picks, right? Uh, who deserves credit? Um, I would, I, uh, man, I would say the offensive line. I, well, I don't know. Maybe I should have picked wide receivers and tight ends. Um, I, I chose the offensive line mainly because I'm hoping I get boost. Yeah, appreciate you crediting them for quarterback success. And they've earned a thousand XP. I'd rather the offensive line get that boost than the receivers, just because I don't foresee a lot of these receivers staying. Maybe Thrash, right? But I don't really see Jerry Judy being on this team long term. Uh, obviously, we already traded Amari Cooper, so uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, but we have another press conference here uh, about Jerome. Uh, he's coming off a nice game this past week. How much or how high are expectations for him moving forward? Is this one of those? Yeah, okay. So I've done this before. If I choose very hard goal, I think I might be able to get him from normal to superstar. Like legitimately. I don't know. Should I do? I'm going to do it. Very hard goal. Let's see what this is. When I look at Jerome, the expectations are off the charts. Uh, everybody knows the potential he has and the player he can be. He's a really good player. And uh, Jerome Ford had 150 yards rushing, receiving, and two touchdowns to increase his dev trait. I, look, I've done this before, and I've gone from normal to superstar doing this. So there is a chance we can get Jerome Ford to superstar dev. If we get Jerome Ford to superstar dev, man, it's going to be real tough to to just convince myself to keep Nick Chubb. Uh, I'm going to go pass protection here for Wyatt Teller. Plus three pass block, which is really good for our superstar uh, offensive lineman. And then Dewan Jones. Let's give him a pass protector as well. But yeah, I mean, getting Jerome Ford. Oh, he got plus three pass block as well uh getting jerome forward superstar makes it a really easy to just make the decision to move on from nick chubb plus i don't know if we're gonna have i mean could i find a way to make some m open up some money and sign nick chubb i could i could but I don't, I don't know uh let's see thrash let's just let's go with playmaker i think that's the best way to uh go with the uh wide receivers so plus three deep route which is good medium route Plus two catching traffic. Okay, how how is his route running now? 74 across the board. All right. I think I think Jamari Thrash is gonna be really, really good for us. Uh if we can get him star dev, that would be amazing. Isaiah McGuire will give him a pass rush or a power rush. He moves up to a 68 overall, plus two power moves. He has 73 power moves technically. Would really like for um for him to be our full-time edge rusher but the likelihood of that happening is probably pretty low uh and then i think that's about it so let's get into week number four against the two and one las vegas raiders we're going with the all whites in vegas i know this is something that we would just wear at home but i really like these uh helmets and uniforms so that's what we're gonna go with gardner Minshew, the starting quarterback for the las vegas raiders We'll take a look at his numbers in a little bit. But this is a this is a winnable game. I know the Raiders it says they're two and one, but I don't know. I, I think this is a winnable game. We just gotta make sure that Devontae Adams doesn't kill us, right? Uh, we gotta watch out for Brock Bowers 
and Michael Mayer. Two very good tight ends for the Raiders. But we are underway here in week number four. And Vegas will take it out to the 31-yard line. Our special teams, specifically our kick return coverage, has not been very good over the few games that I've played. But Minshew has had a pretty good year. 674 yards, four touchdowns, only one interception on the season. He's been pretty good. I mean, those aren't amazing numbers, but he's not making huge mistakes. And that's what Vegas needs, and that's why they are 2-1. Minshew will hand it off, and that will be a gain of about 4 or 5. As uh, Nick Chubb obviously out, Hines is out, my call is suspended. And the Raiders under center now is Minshew, and that will be another handoff. Madison breaks a tackle. Off the left side to the 43-yard line. Yeesh. Another first down. Kareem Hunt. A 10-yard gain on that play. We have not been good against the run. That is one thing that we have struggled this season with. We just haven't been able to stop the run for whatever reason. We've really struggled. And another run. And that's going to be a gain of nine. Four carries, 24 yards for Kareem Hunt. Now Mattinson is in the game. Our run defense has just been so bad this year. As Mattinson, nowhere to go this time. Denzel Ward is there. He'll get the TFL. Good tackle there by Denzel Ward. So third and five. And on third down, Minshew back to throw. And it's going to be, how was that caught? Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. How was that caught? That's a heck of a catch by Bowers. And that's going to be over the middle. Devontae Adams into the end zone touchdown. Well, not a good opening drive from our defense. I, Man, maybe this defense is a lot worse than I thought. We were. Uh, we, we can't stop the run. We need to put Ward probably on Devontae Adams. But other than that, I mean, just the defense is not playing well. Here is Jameis Winston, who on the year 375 yards, one touchdown. Oh, he has th uh, two interceptions. Oh. I thought he only had one. <laughs> okay, well. He hasn't done a great job of taking care of the ball, but that's all right. Uh, we'll just, you know, we'll go with whatever. It, it doesn't matter. 80 yards, two touchdowns for Jerome Ford. Remember, he needs 150 yards to get an upgrade. And that's total yards, so we can get him going in the pass game as well. Second and seven. And Ford, kind of a weird run. It'll be a gain of six on the play. We just we need him to have like one big play. Right? Like if he could have like a huge 50, 60 yard play, that would be nice. There's a flag on the play. Ford will break a tackle and get a first down. But what is the flag? Offsides. All right. I assume so since the flag was very quick. Nate Hobbs was offsides. Uh, I'm going to decline and give, it's one yard, and I want, I want Jerome to get credit for that. So, yeah. And Ford tries to cut back. It's only a gain of one. It'll be second and nine. Jerome Ford is going to be busy in this game. <laughs> we're going to get him the ball a ton in this one. And we're going to start off again, getting it to Ford, but... That's a good tackle. I thought maybe I could cut back inside and make a play. It'll be third and ten. All right. Try to get a first down here. We might have Thrash. That's a tight window. That's Elijah Moore. Nice catch for a gain of 21. What a throw from Jameis. I thought that was Thrash. That was Elijah Moore. That's a great throw. Oh, you got a 55, man. You are killing me, dude. 
All right, well, that's a loss of three, and now Jerome Ford is out of the game. So Jameis back to throw, and that's caught by Elijah, but he runs backwards, and it's just going to be a gain of one. We couldn't get forward progress on that play. That's infuriating. Ford back in the game. We'll set up a screen for him on third and 12. And he might actually have a chance at a first down. He will. And Ford stays up and will have a first down. All right. So a good start for Jerome Ford. First and 10. You know what? I like the run here. So let's give it to Ford. And Ford, again, another. Oh, we, I went to truck. But the offensive line actually blocked. It was a good run, though. And after one, we're down 7-0. Second and a three. Maybe take a shot at the end zone here. Ah, no, I'm just going to dump it off. Get it to Ford. He'll have a first down. Jerome Ford is going to have one of the craziest games of his career in this game. <laughs> but that's all right. We're, gonna, we're just getting him the ball. Get him a dev trade upgrade. That's all that matters. And Ford gets inside the five to the four-yard line. We'll run it again. Second and goal from the four. The only problem with running as much as we are is the clock is just going. And Ford. Oh, he can't get in. Down to the two. You know what? Let's go read option. I'm going to hand it off to him, though. Try to get him the touchdown here. Oh, he couldn't get in. You've got to be kidding me. We're going for it. We are absolutely going for it. Um, you know, a screen could be interesting. It's a weird play. No, I'm going to run it. I'm going to run it. We're going to give it to Ford. Get into the end zone. He is Jerome Ford. Another touchdown on the year. And we make this thing 7-6. to six. And we can tie it with the extra point. But Jerome Ford already 11 carries in this game. And like three catches as well. And we're all tied up at seven. Down it goes Minshew. And it'll be third and 14. So nice play there. The, the pass rush gets to Minshew finally. And on third and 14, it's a screen. Come on, Delpit. Bring him down. Great tackle by Grant Delpit. Read the screen perfectly. And the defense gets a three and out. There's only three and a half minutes to go in this first half. <laughs> that is, that, that drive that we had took seven minutes. Insane. Mitchell will have the return. And he'll take it out to the 23-yard line. Back to more Jerome Ford, who already has 36 yards rushing. If we can get him like 80 total yards in this first half, then I think we can we can uh, hit the 150-yard uh, goal. Jerome Ford's gonna have some space. Oh, I, unbelievable! It looked like he was gonna have more space than that. I thought that was gonna be a big run, but we just couldn't get there. So second and six. Ford is wide open. He's gonna have a first down to the 44-yard line. So another catch for Jerome Ford. I'm going to run this ball. I like it. And we're at the two-minute warning. Never mind. We're going to get it to Ford again on another screen. So 39 yards receiving for Jerome Ford. So, yeah, we are we should be at 80 total yards for Jerome. I'm going to just run the ball, make sure we get the first down here. And nice block by Njoku. Ford will have the first down. Second and seven. And uh, I had Thrash. But Winston gets hit as he throws it. So incomplete. Third and seven. I'm going to go underneath. I wanted Njoku, but he wasn't open. It'll be fourth and two. Vegas will call a timeout. Realistically, I should probably kick the field goal. But man. You know what? Screw it. We're going for it. This might be a bad idea. But I'm going for it. 
I'm going to quick throw this to Njoku. He has first down. I just, Madden, under two minutes, trying, giving the ball to all Madden difficulty with under two minutes is just a bad idea. We're going to give it to Elijah Moore there. He has a gain of six. Vegas would have for sure gone down and scored a touchdown in a minute in 20 seconds. Like 100%. Ah, I don't really like anything. I'm going to give it to Ford, and he drops it. All right. Third and four on the play. We might have Njoku. I'm going to actually do that. There we go. That's a little bit better of a route. And I think we have him. David Njoku! Touchdown! Browns! Going for it on fourth and two works out. And David Njoku has a receiving touchdown. A perfect route. And using that, adjusting the routes is so nice to be able to do that in this game. That route was perfect. It wouldn't have worked like that if we didn't change it. And we'll take a 14 to 7 lead with 52 seconds to go. The Raiders have 47 seconds. Now. All Madden difficulty, and against the CPU, it is almost impossible to stop in a less than two minute situation. But they only have one timeout remaining here. Where is Devontae Adams? Okay, we need to make sure Devontae doesn't kill us here. And that's going to be knocked away. Craig Newsom, what a play! What a play by Craig Newsom. Third and seven, 38 seconds to go. And Minshew gets it. Ah. He gets it to, uh, to Myers. And that will be a first down. But they did use their final timeout. Come on, defense. Come on. Somebody make a play, and that's going to be caught. Oh, man. All right. Tucker with the catch. It was a good route. He beat his man. 19 seconds go. 18, 17. Minshew back to throw again, and he gets rid of it. 13 seconds to go. The Raiders are going to end up getting points here. Very frustrating. I'm going to press. I'm going to blitz with Delpit. And Minshew would just throw it away again. Okay. Let's go cover nine. I'm going to use your JOK. And that's going to be another throwaway. All right. Guess they're just playing for the field goal. He had some open receivers there. So 14 to 7 is a score. And. Oh, can we block this? We did! Mitchell with the block! Two seconds to go. Uh, I'm just going to get some BS yards with Jerome Ford here. So let's have him. Let's just have him run a, an in route. Give him more space and more blocking on that side. And Jerome Ford will get some extra yards. A gain of eight. We'll take it. But we're up 14 to seven at the half. And there goes Thrash. Down to midfield. A good start here to the second half. By the way, Jerome Ford has 93 total yards so far in this game. So we're, we're doing well with that. And that's going to be incomplete. We just have to get rid of it. Thrash was nearly able to catch that, though. So second and 10. We're going to get it to Ford. And just the blocking was not good. And it'll be third and 11. Probably should not have ran it on third and 11. Well, I'm going to run a screen. <laughs> it, I mean, it, it, it's working, so let's let's keep going with it. This time, though, will it work? No, it doesn't. It's a gain of maybe five. Yeah, that, that got blown up with that run. Probably shouldn't have tried to run the ball there on second and long. So we'll go ahead and, and punt this ball. Not the best punt. 
Yeah, we don't get the best bounce. It was a pretty good bounce, but the Raiders were started at the 20. There's a flag on this play as Ward breaks that one up. Intended for Devontae Adams. Illegal receiver downfield. What were you doing, Andre James? Um, I'm not sure why third and short. Why is it like that? Okay, I'm just going to accept. We'll make it second and five. That doesn't really make sense. Hmm. All right. I think something got screwed up there, but it doesn't matter. Nice play. And it'll be third and eight. I'm not really sure what happened with that penalty. All right. So third and eight. Was it really second and short? I don't know. And that's going to be JOK. You got to pick that off. JOK nearly intercepted that. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, the defense gets another stop, and we'll take over at the 28-yard line. Third and 10. And thrash. Nice grab. Nice throw from Jameis Winston. Winston's having a really good game. 160 yards. Why is why is Crosby in the zone? He literally didn't do anything. And Jerome Ford, nice carry. He'll have another first down. Run away from Max Crosby. We literally just completed like a third and long, and he was in the zone. I, I don't understand why he was in the zone. He's out of it now. And Ford, another big run. And there goes Jerome Ford down to the 30-yard line. Remember, he still needs another touchdown. Plus another probably 40 or so yards. Maybe less. As we'll get this to Judy. Judy using his speed. And there goes Judy. Inside the 15 to the 13. Nice play by Jerry Judy. Getting the edge. Using his speed. Let's get it right back to Jerome Ford. And Ford will stay up and keeps fighting forward. A gain of six on the play. 20 carries for like 70 yards. It's not the best average. But it's been good. We're just going to dump it off to him. And Ford, can he get the edge? He's down to the two, and that will end the third quarter. All right, we'll have first and goal from the two. We take the uh, we have a 14 to 7 lead. If we can take a 21 7 lead here, we're in a really good spot. First and goal from the two. We're gonna give it to Ford. Ford into the end zone. His second touchdown of the game. And now we just need a little bit more as far as yardage. And he's gonna get a dev trade upgrade. Not sure if it's just gonna be a star dev. Or if he'll go all the way up to Superstar, like I've said before. Uh, when you when that challenge comes up, generally, you want to do the easier one because it's easier to complete. But I think there's different rewards for each level, right? And I think the last time I got something like that, it was for a receiver. And we completed it. Or I completed it, and we he went from normal dev to superstar dev. So that's what I'm hoping here with Jerome Ford. Now, look, I will be more than happy for him to get star dev, right? But, man, if we can get him superstar dev, it makes the Nick Chubb decision a whole lot easier. And that's going to be a check down to Kareem Hunt. It's a gain of seven. Was that picked? It was! Cameron Mitchell with the interception. Why did Mishu throw that? Miles Garrett. I, dude, the, what a disaster of a throw. Uh, I'm sure this is going to be reviewed. No, it's not going to be reviewed. Okay. It's, it's Cleveland ball. I, 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 I don't know what just happened. Ford gets the outside, and Ford 
to the 15-yard line, 95 yards rushing for Jerome Ford. He has been lights out in this game. And Ford, another carry, and it'll be a gain of four this time. Oh, he's open. Jerome Ford holds on to it, and he's down to the one. 67 yards receiving as well. We, we hit his uh, what we need. Ooh, I actually like the slant here with Thrash. No, it's covered. Uh, can I get this to Elijah Moore? He makes the catch. Touchdown, Browns. What a day for Jameis Winston and the Cleveland Browns offense. 28-7, and we are blowing out the Las Vegas Raiders here in Vegas. Vegas moving the ball now to the 36-yard line. A couple of catches for Devontae Adams. And down goes Gardner Minshew. Miles Garrett with another sack. That might be... Oh man, he might have four on the year now. Miles Garrett is having a heck of a year. Second and 12. Minshew and shotgun. And that's going to be caught. What a route from Bowers. Great timing on that throw as well. And Minshew back to throw. Gosh darn it. That's on me. Oh, and we have an injury. So first and goal from the one. We are all cross-matched here. I don't like that. And that's going to be somehow caught. All right. Ward read it, but he just wasn't able to make a play on the ball. Devontae Adams with the touchdown catch. And with 3.18 to go, the Raiders will make it 28-14. They will try an onside kick here. We will recover it. It's Jerry Judy. Just get down. And that should really just about do it. We'll just run the ball. Try to run out the clock here and get out of here with the win. Third and 10, two minutes to go. Just going to get it to Ford here. It's a gain of six. Vegas will call a timeout. I'm going to go for it. We're going to go for it, and we're going we're gonna to try and end this thing. Maybe try to get in Joku, and we will have him, and that's the first down. That will officially do it. We get the win 28 to 14. This game actually ended in a Miles Garrett sack. We did actually end up punting. Um, and Miles Garrett got the final sack. Minshew's numbers looked better than what it, he actually was. 16 of 24, 249 yards, two touchdowns, and a pick. Jameis was really good again. 22 of 26, 189 yards, two touchdowns. Jerome Ford, 27 carries, 104 yards, and two touchdowns. Uh, receiving wise, Jerome, 11 catches for 73 yards. Devontae had a huge game. Uh, Elijah, 4 for 28. And Joku, 3 for 26 in a touchdown. Thrash, 2 for 40. Judy, 2 for 22. And then defensively, two sacks for Miles Garrett. Uh, he also had two TFLs. Hurst with a TFL. And then the pick went to Cameron Mitchell. Jerome Ford with an upgrade. So we will give him elusive back here. He's playing down to a 78. He's normally a 79. I'm not sure why our morale is down. I mean, I guess... I mean, I guess we did lose two in a row, but we've now won two in a row. So, all right. Uh, let's see what the reward is for having a, a completing that goal for Jerome Ford. We've got a budding superstar. I think we just went up to superstar dev. Yep. We just got superstar dev for Jerome Ford and 10,000 XP and plus three juke move plus three spin move. And plus three break tackle. Oh, yeah. That is amazing. Guys, I'm telling you, if you are confident in getting that player and, and getting that goal, especially for offensive players, always choose the the most difficult difficulty. Because you can you can go up to dev traits, at least from normal dev guys. I haven't tried it with like a star. I don't know if like a star dev guy can get X Factor in that scenario by no normal to superstar you can 
Uh, and then let's go. I mean, I would like to get his truck and his stiff arm up. Hmm. No, I'm going to go elusive back for now. And let's just focus on that. So, in change of direction, getting a change of direction is good. So, Jerome Ford is now at Superstar Dev. That's amazing. Wow, it looks really cloudy. What the heck? Or, like, dark. That was weird. All right. We're in game number two, and we are underway here in week number five. As we will be taking on the Washington Commanders. Again, I said it in the last game. I said it in the last video. Our return coverage, not good. Not good at all. Jaden Daniels on the year having a very good rookie year. 830 yards, 8 touchdowns, and 1 pick. That's pretty good. And that's not even counting his rushing yards. I'm not sure what his rushing yards are, but... Yeah, it's, he's having a pretty good year. So Washington will take over at the 42. They'll run the ball here. Nice play by JOK. And Austin Eckler with not much of a gain there. Nick Chubb can come back next week. However, I think in real life it's going to be longer than that. So I might just keep him out anyways. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the deal is with, with him right now. I'll have to like really look into it. That looked like face mask. Eckler with a gain of eight. And it'll be third and two. We're going to cheat here. Cheat up here with Delpit. And they're, they will hand it off. Delpit's there. Good job by the defense. So it was good field position for Washington, but they are unable to get a first down there, and they will punt it, and it will be out of bounds to the 25. There's Jameis' numbers through three games, 564 yards, three touchdowns, and two interceptions. Not bad. I mean, overall, last game he was fantastic. Obviously, we leaned on the run game, right? It was a lot of easy throws as well. But he had a couple of really nice throws. Especially one to Elijah Moore. But there goes the new superstar. Jerome Ford, a gain of 13 on the first play. We want to lean on our new superstar running back. And we're going to hand it off again. And Ford will have another gain of five. 104 yards rushing and two touchdowns a week ago. And we will continue to lean on him. He has been really, really good for us. Jameis back to throw. Go underneath to Jerry Judy, and Judy will have the first down. There it goes Ford again, and Ford to that 34-yard line. Three carries, 35 yards for Jerome Ford. He is looking really, really good. I like the play action here. And nice timing there to Thrash. And Thrash down to the 12-yard line. A bit of a low throw, but good timing on that throw. And we're down to the 12-yard line. Offense looking really, really good here. Going to give this once again to Ford. Good blocking up front. And Ford will have a gain of seven on the play. We're going to give it to him again. Ooh. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's give it to him again. Let's see if, what we can do here. And Ford bounce it out. Jerome Ford into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Jerome Ford is on fire. What a season he has had so far. And we can take a, I mean, great blocking, by the way. And we can take a 7-0 lead here. And we will. Our superstar running back has been phenomenal. Empty backfield here on second and seven. And that's going to be caught. Oh, no. Well. Noah Brown just bounces off a tackle. It switched me on to the wrong guy, so I dove. <sighs> well, that's the problem when you go cover zero, all out blitz. 
and they break a tackle. We've got third and eight. Gonna run a screen that, that did not work. That did not work. All right, well, note to self, do not run that screenplay again. That screenplay stinks. Third down and down goes Jaden Daniels. Sorry, it was second down. Now third down. It's third and 17. Hicks on the blitz gets the sack. And it'll be third and 17. Jaden Daniels couldn't get away there. I'm going to contain. All right. Well, I wanted to use our JOK. We're not going to get that chance, but down goes Jaden again. It's not a sack. It'll be a gain of one technically. But Washington will have to punt. So a good job by the defense. And we'll see if we can get good field position here as Mitchell will return this. And, oh, I wanted that block from 26. Thought maybe I could bounce it outside. All right, let's get back to giving the ball to Jerome Ford. <laughs> Third and 10. Couldn't run the ball. And we just, oh, we need better protection. We're going to have to get rid of it. It'll be fourth and 10. We'll have to punt. All right, well, a tough three and out there. And, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and give it back to Washington. This is going to be a tough game. Washington has a good defense. Third and four for Daniels. And that's going to be caught for another first down as they cross midfield. Five minutes to go. Daniels back to throw again. And that's going to be intercepted. J.O.K. with the pick. Give me some blocks. Oh, Jaden Daniels is too fast. J.O.K. picks off the rookie. Just his second interception on the year. And this Cleveland defense is really, really, really good over the past couple weeks, man. They've been insane. Give me a good block. There it goes Ford. Ford's going to have another 10-yard gain. Eight carries, 60 yards for Jerome Ford. We're going to give it to him again here. Right now, by the way, he's on pace for like 1,800 yards. There it goes Ford again. And Ford to the 30-yard line. Another big run. Well, now it's third and 13. Couldn't run the ball. And I'm just going to throw it up. No, that's going to be knocked away. Overthrown. It'll be fourth and 13, so we'll have to settle for a field goal here. And the field goal is up and good. So we'll take a 10-7 lead with 3.15 to go. Oh, what a throw. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a throw. I mean, that was just perfect. The young corner gets torched. Emerson had no shot. And Washington will take a 14-10 lead. It was just one play. 71 yards. My goodness. We have third and seven. And dang it. I thought maybe he wouldn't carry with Thrash there and we could get the edge, but Thrash was able to hold on to it. Not enough for a first down. It'll be fourth and five. We'll have to punt again. Washington down to the 41 yard line. Defense now struggling a little bit here, and that's going to be caught. For a gain of five. Come on, defense. A minute and 42 to go. Daniels back to throw again. It's a quick throw, and it's right to McLaurin. We're going to have to make an adjustment here. Get Ward on McLaurin. At least on his side, right? And Daniels, that will be incomplete. Big hit. So a minute and 29 to go. Second and 10 for Daniels. Empty backfield. And that's going to be caught. Ah, that's Brown again. All right. 
Well, let's blitz here. See if we can get a, make a play on Daniels. And Daniels under pressure. Down he goes. JOK and Miles Garrett are going to get credit for that sack. And it'll be second and goal from the 17. 42 seconds to go now. And Daniels trying to escape. He does. Ooh, that was close to a late hit on Ward. So now third and goal. And Washington will call a timeout here with 31 seconds to go. All right, let's let's go. Let's go man here. And user JOK. I'm just gonna spy if no running back's gonna go out. Ah, Daniel's gonna take off. We were in man. Oh man, I should have why did I do that? Why did I do that? I was more worried about him just throwing it into the end zone than him taking off and running. Oh, that was really dumb. That was really dumb on my part. Nice return, though, from Strong Jr., and that's going to give us a chance here to get at least a field goal out of this. Hopefully. 19 seconds to go. Jameis back to throw. We're going to get over the middle to Ford, and Ford is going to be in field goal range. 12 seconds to go. We still have two more timeouts after that one. We're at the 32. This would be a 49-yard field goal attempt. And that's going to be intercepted. How the hell did he catch that? Inaccurate throw from Jameis Winston, and it's a pick six. Well, this is this has turned into a disaster. Over the middle, and Thrash will have a catch down to the 38. So we're across midfield now here to start the third quarter. We've got a score here. And Ford, nice run. We'll have another gain of eight. We're, you know, it's crazy. We're running the ball so well. So well. And we're down 28 to 10. Ah, uh, it's just, that's brutal. We'll have a first down there. Let's keep running it. But we're going to run out of time if we do keep running it. So we got to have a nice mix. But I like the run here on first and 10. Dude. Yeah. Why are we just standing there? Okay. Well, that's frustrating. Second and 10. We've got David Njoku wide open. And Njoku down to the one. Couldn't quite get into the end zone. I kind of want to throw it here. We're going to throw it. We're going to go to Njoku, and he, it's an inaccurate throw. Jameis, you are killing me, dude. All right. Second and goal from the one. We'll get it to Ford, and Ford will rush it in. Touchdown. Okay. 28 to 7. Possibly 28 to 17. We need our defense to get a stop here. Miles Garrett gets a TFL there. Big stop in the run game. And it'll be third and 15. A stop here would be huge. Come on. Come on, third and 15. Watch McLaurin. Daniels, we'll just get rid of it. All right, perfect. We got to stop. We got to stop. Defense does their job. David Njoku with the catch and run. And Njoku will have a first down to the 36-yard line. Offense moving the ball pretty well. I'm going to run off to the left here. Give me a block. There goes Ford. Give me another. Ah, Thrash, you got to get there. 122 yards for Jerome Ford. We'll fake the sweep. Maybe go to Thrash. Thrash or Njoku here. Njoku. Just go up and get it. David Njoku. What a catch. Touchdown, Cleveland. Woo. All right, we're going for a two. Try to make this a three-point game. 
What do I? I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put Thrash on a slant. All right, here we go. We got Thrash on the slant. Conversion is good, and it's a three-point game. We are right back in this thing. We were down 28 to 10, not 28-3. 28 to 10, and now just down by three here. Towards the end of the third. Defense just needs to get another stop. Oh, it's picked! Greg Newsom picks it off! And Newsom into the end zone! Touchdown! You have got to be kidding me! The Washington Commanders absolutely implode! Greg Newsom with the pick. He read it perfectly. It was an RPO. And I'm not sure uh, Jaden Daniels just needed to hand that one off. Greg Newsom read that absolutely perfect. It's 32 to 28. Washington with the third and 12. And it's really just been, I mean, the defense I feel like has played great. It's really just been broken plays. And there it goes, Daniels. Nice play by Miles Garrett. Getting the tackle. And Washington will have to punt again. Like I said, I mean, it's really two, obviously the pick six, the two big plays offensively. They've really just had one good drive. And other than that, it's just been big plays, right? And obviously that's on our defense. But overall, I feel like our defense has been really good in this game. We've got third and two. We're across midfield. Four and a half minutes to go. We'll get it to Ford. And Ford has the first down. So four minutes to go here. Really just trying to run out the clock. Make smart decisions. They are blitzing. Come on, Thrash. Ah, uh, Nope. We'll just throw out his feet. Incomplete. So second and 10. Wanted Thrash to get open, but just never did. David Njoku's open. He holds on to it. It'll be a gain of six, so third and four. We'll be right about three min minutes to go here. A field goal can make this a, a seven-point game. And I don't... I, uh, I didn't want to throw that to Y there. I, just, I felt like it would be picked. So we're going to have to attempt a really long field goal here. 54 yarder. And it is no good. We held on just a little long. Damn. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. Two and a half minutes to go now for Jaden Daniels in Washington. That's going to be picked. Mitchell with the interception. And Mitchell will take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Another pick six. And this time is Cameron Mitchell. Wow. There's been three pick sixes in this game. And that one might have just sealed the game. The field goal is good. 39 to 28. Our defense has completely shut out the Washington Commanders here in the second half. What a performance from the defense in the second half. This is the game right here. Fourth and three for Daniels. Daniels under pressure gets it complete. Oh, and another broken tackle. And another broken play, and Washington will score. <laughs> okay. Well, that didn't work how I thought it would. Not at all. All right. Well, this can make it a three point game, and it does. Yeesh. They're not going with an onside kick so they believe in their defense they have all three of their timeouts and let's see if we can have a good return 
That's a decent one out to the 35. And there goes Jerome Ford. And that'll do it. Jerome Ford. What a run from Jerome Ford. He has been unbelievable in this game. Unbelievable. Oh, you know what? There was an injury from one of our guys. So we had to use a timeout. Freaking Conklin, man. Just hobble off the field. Uh, so that doesn't really seal the game, unfortunately. But this will. Jerome Ford, stay in bounds, and that should do it. Washington won't be able to stop the clock enough. What a game from Jerome Ford. We'll run it again here to Ford. Whoa, what a weird cut back there. 207 yards and two touchdowns for Jerome Ford. Wow. We're down to the 11-yard line. I believe Washington used our last time out there. Oh, nowhere to go there. He just, oh, no, never mind. I was going to say, did he lose a 200-yard game? Why are we, oh, I guess to really seal it, we could throw it here. Yeah. That freaking injury timeout really hurt us there. And I should have just ran the ball. Okay. Well, I don't love only going up by six here. With 50 seconds to go, we're not going to lose this at the buzzer, are we? Second and 10 for Washington, 42 seconds to go. Come on, Garrett. And, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Where was the safety help? We were in zone. We were in cover six. Where is the safety? Where was he? They're treating it like it was man. Dude, what? You need to get out. Hickman, you went the wrong way, dude. That was supposed to be zone. Another broken play from our defense. All right. Well, we just got to get in field goal range. We have two timeouts. I don't understand why our, uh, why the defense ran man. Like, it just makes no sense. Why did they do that? Unbelievable, man. Um... Put in Joku on a, no, don't like it. And I couldn't throw the ball away. We're gonna have to call a timeout. It wouldn't let me throw the ball away in time. I'm not worried about getting the first time. I just want to get out of bounds. That's what we do, it's fourth and four. Okay. Come on. Come on and get there. No. It's just, it's underthrown. Wow. We lost. I don't know how many broken plays we had in this game from our defense. I Like three. Three broken plays from our defense. I, I, I don't understand what happened on that on that last play. I, 
I cannot believe we just lost that game. We had two pick sixes. Jerome Ford had 200 yards and two rushing touchdowns. And we lost. I cannot believe we just lost that game. Daniels threw three picks. Winston was not good. He was ter He was terrible. They couldn't run the ball. McLaurin, four for 177 and two touchdowns. Njoku, five for 93 and a touchdown. Three TFLs from JOK, half a sack, Hicks a sack and a half, Garrett half a sack, Cameron Mitchell, JOK, and Newsome with the pick. Newsome and Mitchell both had the, the pick six. I, I don't know how we lost that game. 73-yard touchdown. 58-yard touchdown. Um, 71 yard touchdown three of Daniels oh and it's every single one of Jaden Daniels touchdown passes were 58 yards or more what in the hell JOK with an upgrade uh, I'm going to give him run stopper He's not going to go up in overall, but I just need him better in the run. Plus three block shedding. Yeah, we need his block shed to go up. It's only a 70. Uh, and then Jerome Ford will give him elusive back. He's playing up to... He's at an 83 overall now. Plus three, plus, plus three awareness. Okay. That's really annoying. All right. Well, we lose. I I can't believe that. The you know what really killed us was Jack Conklin getting hurt. Like Like that that was that was a brutal that's a brutal way to lose, man. We were able to, we would have been able to run out the clock if if Conklin didn't get hurt. And also why throwing the ball on third down when we should have just ran it. They didn't have any more timeouts like we should have just ran the ball. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We followed 2-3, and three and now we play the 4-0 and o Eagles. And then we play the Bengals. Or 2-3. and three. And then the Ravens, who are 3-2. and two. Uh, We... Uh, the Eagles are the number one offense in the league. Sixth best defense in the league. That sucks. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we did get Jerome Ford Superstar Dev, so that's awesome. Hit the like button if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in week six against the Philadelphia Eagles.